Question 13. Negative 5 is less than y is less than or equal to 0. And it says that y is an integer. Write down all possible values of y. Now, you got to know what an integer is first and foremost. It means it's a positive or negative whole number. Okay, and we're asked to write down all possible values of y. You might be able to read it off straight away. I'm going to do a little number line to try and help us out. So, we know that the inequality goes between 5 and uh, negative 5 and 0. So, let's, let's start with, say, negative 6 and go up to 1, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. And let's make this guy slightly bigger. Uh, 0 and then say 1. Now, we're told that the inequality goes between negative 5 and 0. So, oh, I need to be very, very careful about what I'm doing here. Let's just go back a step. Uh, between negative 5 and 0. Now, let's just have a look at the inequality. It's all the values in here. Now, are we going to include 0? We are indeed because it's less than or equal to. So, I, I need that one. But it says don't include negative 5 because there's no little line here. So what whole number answers could it be? Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. Part B. Solve 6 times x minus 2 greater than 15. Now, most of the time, if that was an equation, people are absolutely fine with it. This is actually tackled in the same way. So if you can solve an equation, you should be able to do this. We're going to start by expanding the bracket to get 6x minus 12. And instead of putting equals, we're just going to say, well, it's got to be greater than 15. Next thing we're going to do is add 12 to both sides. So we get 6x is going to be greater than 15 plus 12 is 27. And then divide both sides by 6. So x must be greater than, and I always tell my students, just write it as a fraction 27 over 6 that's a perfectly acceptable answer it didn't ask me to simplify it so that's exactly what i'm going to give x is greater than 27 over 6 if you simplify that uh, 6 is going to go in four times the remainder three so it's going to be 4.5 x is bigger than 4.5 but that's a perfectly acceptable answer also just beware if you put an equals here, you may lose a mark, okay? If it's an inequality, make sure you keep that inequality symbol.